Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on Shonyu with over 190k reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the chart. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CAD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, we will be putting together these two different types of analysis to try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we have is a market which is currently testing a quite strong monthly demand and support area. From here, in fact, multiple rejections to the upside have been created. And at the moment, the market is testing that the exact same zone has already started rejecting it to the upside. And there is the possibility to see a bit more bullish price action being created away from this level. However, at the same time, it is also important to keep in mind that the high has already been tested and the market failed breaking above it. In fact, this level was already acting as previous resistance here, preceding these two rejections to the downside. The market again tested it here. And instead of breaking above it, since it had very strong bullish momentum, it failed breaking above the zone and got rejected to the downside. So in a situation like this, until the market will remain in between this resistance and support, we could simply expect more horizontal price action to be created in the long term. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly perspective, the structure is very well defined as well. We have previous weekly support that got rejected to the upside from here, which was still acting as support here, and the market has then broke below the zone. At that point, what we could expect is a retest and rejection of the area. And in fact, the market has already tested the zone here and already rejected it to the downside. Now, it seems like the market go is going for another test of this resistance area. Now, if we drop down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily standpoint, the price action seems quite clear. We have a market which at the moment has created a very strong move to the upside into the resistance that we have identified from a weekly perspective and then rejected the zone to the downside. And I had created, in fact, a full breakdown of USD CAD when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which we could expect first this test of this resistance area and then to see a rejection to the downside below the zone. And by the way, I will link in description that previous analysis in which I explain all the reasons for which we could expect this move in description. So you can go and check it out for more free education. Continuing with our analysis, let's go and see before we check what we have from a technical perspective here on the daily time frame. Let's first go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. And let's check the data precisely for the CAD. Now, what we can see here is that with the last reports, net positions have been massively increased. In fact, we went from having minus 70.4K net positions all the way up to having minus 13.3K net positions, showing how institutions have been increasing their longs and decreasing their shorts on the CAD. We went, in fact, from having 17.1K longs all the way up to now having 38.7K longs, and shorts got decreased from 89K all the way down to 52. 2K. So clearly, institutions are moving back to the bullish side for the CAD, making USD CAD weaker because a strengthening CAD weakens USD CAD. So moving back here to this market from a technical perspective, what we can see is that at the moment, we do have structure at this area. This is previous daily resistance that was turned support here and is still acting as support. Until the market will remain above this area, it can easily be rejected to the upside and a rejection to the upside would be also perfectly in line with what we have seen from a monthly perspective because we can see as we have done at the beginning of this analysis that from a monthly perspective we have a market which is currently trapped in a range. 
So here on the daily time frame, until the market will remain above this level, it can easily continue higher. However, a move higher, at least at the moment, doesn't seem very interesting because we would simply be heading deeper into the resistance that we have from a weekly perspective. So the only way in which things would be interesting, in my opinion, is if we get a break below the support. Because if we get a break below the support, at that point, this previous support would become resistance here. And on the retest of the previous support or resistance, that is where we would have good probabilities of getting more institutional longing of the CAD. And more institutional longing of the CAD would make would make USD CAD weaker. So if we get this break on the retest of the previous support and resistance, what I would expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in a trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes. So for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would break below the support on the retest, if we would see the market shift from an intraday bullish market to an intraday bearish market at that point, I would expect a potential move lower for the market to complete this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which is linked both in the description and in my bio. Here, you will have the possibility to gain access to the most complete, all-inclusive mentorship program. And in this program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my trading courses, the COT data software, the trading station software with the Telegram signals integration, one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me. And if you continue to scroll down on the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So I really suggest to go and check it out as soon as possible. The link is both in the description and in my bio, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.